hey guys how's it going my name is Frank and in this video we are going to build this simple breaking bad character application with the fetch API in pure vanilla JavaScript so before we get started I want to say this video was greatly inspired by Brad Travis's original video where he used react as the front-end technology for developing this application so if you are more into react you can go and check out that video so let's look at the breaking bad API so you can get all the information concerning this API with this link breakingbadapi.com slash documentation and in the video we'll be targeting different endpoints in this API we'll be targeting the character endpoint and we'll be checking more specific endpoints using the name parameter to fetch the character data so our application follows a simple structure where we have this input view that we can use to search characters by name if we input a text our characters will be populated on our page and we can get information on those characters and if we want to target more specific characters we can input more text and we'll get our character and by the time we delete all the text in our input field our page will be repopulated with all the characters in our application and we also have this cool nice CSS effect where whenever we move over our characters we get the brief information about them so you can try to code with me you can try to follow as I develop this project I hope you really enjoyed this video it's a very simple video and if you want more you can check out Brad's video and let's get started so we are starting with a blank folder and we can start by creating our folder and file structure so let's start by creating our CSS folder and then our JS folder finally our IMG folder okay, let's drag out the IMG folder we don't want it inside let's move it out okay then we can create our index.html file and let's move on to our CSS folder and create our style.css file and our main.js file so we'll be needing some images I'll just go out here and drag some images into the IMG folder our logo our background and the spinner the loader spinner so that's all we need so let's start with our index.html file let's generate a simple boilerplate by pressing exclamation tab and we have this html boilerplate so we can change our title and change it to breaking bad api okay so let's come down here and create our link tag first we want to link to the bootstrap cdn so we can get it from bootstrapcdn.com we want this link the css link so we can come back and paste it in here then we also want to link to our our local styles we just link to css slash style.css okay so we can save that so let's also link to our scripts our script we want to link to our js slash main.js file so we can start with the main structure we want the container class and in our container we want to start with our header so I want to see header and okay no let's do it this way let's delete this see header dot text center because we want our text to be pushed to the center with a margin top of five this is a bootstrap class and this is a nice way of generating classes in vs code so we can insert our image right here we want to link to, link to the source img slash bb bg.jpg okay bb logo dot png okay so directly under the header we want to insert a row with the margin top four class and in our class we'll create a call md six six grid here and with the mx auto so it is pushed to the middle so inside our class we will create an input of type text we want to give it a 
an ID of IMP search and we also want to give it a class of form control and also we want to give it a placeholder that says search character search characters okay dot 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 so let's come down under our row class we'll create a section and our section will have a class of margin top five margin top five so in our section let's create a row a row class with an ID of output because this is where all our out outputs will be be populated so we can open this with live server and see how that looks so this is how HTML file looks in our browser we have just the logo and the input field so that's all for our HTML now we can just copy I'll just copy and paste all the styles we'll be needing in this project we have our body style the header the gif spinner and the rest i'll have a link in the description with all the styles so you can just copy and paste or you can copy it from the video directly so let's save and see so this is what our page looks like after the style but we want the background so let's see what is wrong Okay, background image bbbg okay okay it's not getting okay let's okay we need to move out of the css folder first with dot dot slash before moving to our img folder so let's save and see what that looks like now okay so now our background is working our background is working so that's all for the styles so we move on to the next part which is the main.js so this is where we'll be we'll be doing all the work so first of we want to get the search and the outputs from our index.html so we have to get those ids that we created in our html file so we we'll say const imp search and we'll get it by the id main element by id i will say imp search and also the output so we'll say const output is equals documents dot in my output okay so so after doing that we want to create an event listener for our window object so let's create the event listener we can say window dot add event listener and want to check for a load event so we can create our function we can use an arrow function and in our function we can start with can start by creating a function to fetch our character so that is if an external function that we'll be creating right now so let's create the fetch characters function so this will be an async await function so we we'll have to start by saying async function fetch characters okay So since our input field will be needing the fetch characters function we can simply add a query parameter in our fetch characters function so let's declare our response we just say let's rest and i will go out here and copy and paste this if statement into our code so it is checking if we have a query our response should fetch using this URL but if there is no query 
you should just fetch all the characters so we can come down here and declare another variable result we can declare result as await res dot json so we want to declare result as a json and then we can map our results so since we are displaying everything we want it as a result and we'll use the arrow this way and inside of here i'll copy and paste some other line of code this is the code that will be inserted into our html we have the result of img that is all the other information that we'll be needing in our html we have the img results the name the portrait the nickname bed name and so on so this is the line of code that will be inserted into our html so after that we can we can declare an output string we want to carry out some DOM manipulation by creating an element a div i want to insert it we want to insert it into a variable output string so after doing that we'll say output string dot class list we want to add some bootstrap class and some of our personal classes to this new div so we'll say we'll insert column d3 we set the margin bottom of 3 i want to insert our personal local styles of img info so under it we can still say output string dot inner html so the inner html will insert will assign it to that html string that will be created object html string and since we've done all that we can simply output everything into our page with the output that we declared up there we can now say output dot append child and we'll insert the output string so let's 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 save let's save and see what this looks like okay so now we are fetching we are fetching everything fetching all our data it is being loaded so let it load so this is what we have so if you can see if we move over it we get all these informations about them so our input field is not working right now so that is what we work on so can come can come under our window events and come under our in window event i want to add an event listener to our imp search object so we can say imp search dot add event listener we want to check for a change event i will use the same arrow function okay so we have to check for the text being imputed first so let's create a variable search query we want to assign our amp search dot value into this search query variable before we call the fetch characters function so since you are calling it we have to pass that search query variable into our fetch characters so that is what that if statement will check for so let's see it's been reloaded so by time okay let it reload okay so by time we type j e let's check for j e okay something is wrong somewhere okay something is wrong so, okay okay i can see where the problem is 
we are not removing the original DOM elements so we are just appending to it so we have to do some filtering down here so before we had put anything we first have to remove everything we have in our inner HTML by writing this in HTML equals to empty string so let it load so after loading if we type let's say J okay you see it is now working fine and if we type more okay so everything seems to be working fine but if you notice we have to still insert our loader our loader class our loader function so let's declare it say function loader this is a simple function not really doing much so we just the output dot inner html we just want to insert some inner we want to insert some inner html so we we'll declare a div with a class of the class of gifs sp spinner and a bootstrap class of mx auto so inside of it we want to create an img of source img slash loader dot webp a web format so that's all we that's all we'll be doing for our loader function so we can insert it we can first insert it in our windows event listener and then we can also insert it in our imp search event listener so now now let's save and see what it looks like okay so you can see the spinner over there so if we input any text in our input field we get the spinner it gets loaded in by the time we delete everything it also gets repopulated so i actually have just one issue with this input field that's why the react video brad made was obviously better because the page reloads instantly on input change but using the javascript change events in our input field doesn't work automatically you have to click on any other part of your page or press the enter button before the fetch data gets loaded in so you can see our styles are working the css styles are working so if you really want to check out brad's video the link will be in the description below and i really hope you enjoyed this video if you learned something leave a thumbs up if you really if you would like to see more content like this in the future you can click that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time